Chapter 5 Advanced Features of ARCHICAD Teamwork In this chapter we will continue working on the construction documentation of our teamwork project. We will also discover some of the more advanced ARCHICAD teamwork features. We will work with different library types such as embedded libraries, linked libraries, and teamwork server libraries. We will become familiar with advanced reservation and release of elements. We will also overview some of the advanced project administration features and see how to enhance team members with custom roles or how to restore the teamwork project from a BIM server backup copy. Step 1. Working with libraries and library parts in teamwork. In this step, we will find out more about how ARCHICAD Teamwork handles the library parts of a shared project. We will become familiar with the use of embedded libraries for storing project-specific library parts. We will also see how roles assigned to team members can affect their project development work. In this step, we will create some stairs with railings. Switch to the ARCHICAD instance of Mary Jones. Select the File, Libraries and Objects, Library Manager menu item to open the Library Manager dialog. We will now discuss how team members can use the object libraries of a shared teamwork project. The Library Manager provides an easy overview of the project libraries as well as quick access. Embedded libraries are always an integral part of the teamwork project and therefore they are always available. These library objects or library folders are stored and saved within the shared project file. BIM server libraries are those libraries that have been uploaded to the Graphisoft BIM server. These libraries are globally available for all the team members of the project who are connected to the BIM server. We will now see how to upload library parts to the BIM server. Highlight the BIM server library's container and click the Reserve button to reserve it. Click the right pointing arrow next to the Add button in the Library Manager dialog. Select Use BIM server library from the pop-up list. The Choose BIM Server Libraries dialog appears where you can see all the available libraries on the BIM server. Click the Users button to the right of the Server List field and make sure that Mary Jones is selected in the list. In the Choose Server drop-down list, select the name of your local machine. The libraries available for the current projects on this server are displayed in the list. Click the Manage BIM Server Libraries button. The Manage BIM Server Libraries dialog opens. It is important to note that managing BIM Server Libraries requires project administrator rights. Please remember that in the BIM Server Manager dialog, when we created users, there was a Project Administrator checkbox besides the BIM Server Administrator checkbox. Only team members with project administrator rights can manage BIM server libraries. Click the Users button to the right of the server field and make sure that Joe Smith is selected from the list. A warning message appears notifying you that only a server administrator or project administrator is able to use this dialog. Joe Smith is neither a server or a project administrator so he is not entitled to modify the teamwork libraries on the BIM server. Click the ITG library container file in the list to select it. As you can see, there are various buttons in the dialog, but almost all of them are grayed. The only command he could use is the extract button, which would allow him to extract the content of the selected library to a folder on his local computer. Click the Users button to the right of the Server field and select Mary Jones from the pop-up list. 
make sure that the ITG library container file is still selected. All buttons are available for Mary since she is both server and project administrator, which entitle her to modify the Teamwork server libraries. Click the Upload button. In the upcoming dialog, please select the ITG Auxiliary LCF, that is Library Container File. This is located next to the ITG Library file. Click the Choose button to proceed. The library will now be uploaded to the BIM server. Shortly, you will see the list of available libraries in the dialog. The speed of uploading libraries through the Internet depends on the available Internet bandwidth. Click the Close button to leave the Manage BIM Server Libraries dialog. This will take you back to the Choose BIM Server Libraries dialog, where the newly uploaded libraries are present and available for the Teamwork project. Select the ITG Auxiliary Library and click the Add button to proceed. We are returned to the Library Manager dialog. Notice the icon of the newly added library. It shows that this library has not been downloaded from the server to the computer of the local team member. Click the Release button. ARCHICAD will release the BIM server libraries and send and receive the changes. Now, click the Reload button to reload all libraries added to the project. The current state of the shared project of Mary Jones is now sent to the BIM Server Project Database, which will now contain the information about the updated libraries. In the Users panel of the Teamwork palette, right-click the name of Joe Smith and select Send Message. In the New Message dialog, set the message priority to High Priority. Enter, Hi Joe, please note that a new library has been added to the project. Please receive changes prior to proceeding with the work. Set the optional task field to receive changes. Then click Send. The message immediately appears on Joe Smith's screen. Switch to the ARCHICAD instance of Joe Smith. If you do not have any other ARCHICAD instances open, please activate the file, Open, Open or Join Teamwork Project. Click the Users button in the upper right corner of the dialog and select Joe Smith from the list. Click to select the MS Building TW project from the list of available projects. Please make sure to check the Launch New Instance of ARCHICAD checkbox to open this project in a new instance of ARCHICAD. Finally, click Open to proceed. A new instance of ARCHICAD will open and the project will be loaded. ARCHICAD will notify Joe Smith when opening the Teamwork project that changes are available. It's a good practice to click the Receive Now button to download all changes when opening a shared project. For our example, please click the Receive Later button since we would like to present the Advanced Messaging panel of Teamwork, which will also offer the same action. When a message with high importance appears, it will not disappear. Instead, it will stay on your screen until you click it. This is a way of letting users know that the issue needs their immediate attention. Right-click the message received from Mary Jones and select Receive Changes from the context menu. Changes are received, so the issue is handled. Therefore, the message is moved to the completed category. Select File, Libraries and Objects, Library Manager. As you can see in the Library Manager dialog, 
The new auxiliary library is now loaded into Joe Smith's project. Click Cancel to leave this dialog. Switch to the ARCHICAD instance of Mary Jones. Double-click to activate the 5.1.1 Stairs preset view located in the Chapter 5 folder of the Navigator view map. A staircase from the project opens in the 3D window. Mary Jones, the lead architect, would like to ask Joe Smith to develop some design alternatives for the railings of this staircase. Click to activate the Stair tool in the toolbox. Select the Edit, Select All Stairs command to select all the stairs in the 3D window. Right click elsewhere in the 3D window and select the Reserve Selected Elements option from the context menu. Activate the context menu once again and select the Assign Selected Elements to Joe Smith option to assign the stairs to Joe. Let's also send an accompanying message to Joe Smith explaining the design task. In the upcoming dialog, delete the default text. Enter. Please create some railing alternatives for these stairs and share the results with me. Finally, click Assign to proceed. In the upcoming dialog, click the Assign and Send button to proceed. The stairs elements are now grayed out in the project belonging to Mary Jones since they no longer belong to her workspace. Switch to the ARCHICAD instance of Joe Smith. In the Messages panel of the Teamwork palette, right-click the new message Joe just received from Mary and select Receive Show All option from the context menu. In the upcoming dialog, click the Receive and Show button to proceed. A 3D exonometric view opens. ARCHICAD also automatically selects the stairs Mary assigned to Joe. Double-click to activate the 5.1.1 Stairs preset view. This gives a better view on the stairs. We will create a new stair geometry, which will be exactly the same as the one on the existing stairs. They will differ only in the railing characteristics. We will learn how to use the Embedded Library Parts feature to store these project-specific library parts within the Teamwork project file. Click the Edit Stair button in the info box. The StairMaker Editor window comes up where you can modify the stair settings. Switch to the Railing Settings tab page of the dialog. Click to select the middle of the three railing segmenting buttons at the top. Click any of the railings in the preview window on the right to highlight them. We will set a different type of inner surface railing along the whole length of the stair. Select the Post with Balusters option in the drop down list below Railing Setting. Click the Save As button in the lower left area of the dialog. As you can see, the Save To field displays Embedded Library for this option. The embedded library parts are permanently stored within the Teamwork project. It is recommended to save project-specific library parts, such as stairs, as embedded libraries. Enter three flight balusters in the name field, then click the Save button to save the stair with this new name. Let's create one more railing alternative using the same steps as before. Select Wired in the drop-down list below Railing Setting. Click Save As. 
and enter three flight wire in the name field of the appearing dialog. Finally, click the Save button to save it in the embedded library. We now have both of our stair alternative objects created and saved. Click the Cancel button in the Stair Settings dialog to return to ARCHICAD. Make sure that the stairs are still selected in the project and assign them to Mary Jones with the help of the context menu. Keep the default message text and click Assign to send it. ARCHICAD notifies you to send the project changes to the BIM server in order to be able to assign the stairs to another team member. Click Assign and Send in the upcoming dialog. Switch to the ARCHICAD instance of Mary Jones. Activate the Send and Receive changes from the Workspace panel of the Teamwork palette to receive the latest stage of the project from the BIM server. Select the stairs, then click the Stair Settings dialog button in the info box to open the Stair Selection Settings dialog. Click the Embedded Library item in the list of libraries in the left pane. Control-Alt-Click on Windows or command option click on Mac, the three flight balusters stair in the list of stairs to transfer its parameters. Finally, click OK to leave this dialog. The staircase now displays the first railing alternative. Click the Next button in the info box to go to the next stair element in the embedded libraries. This will be the stair with wired railings. You can watch as the stairs update to reflect the change in the railing design. Select the Edit Undo menu command twice to undo these two changes and switch back to the original stair railing. With the stair still selected, click the Release button on the Teamwork palette. Send the changes when asked in the upcoming dialog. 